Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Advanced Blueprint tutorial series. In today's video we are going to be giving you a quick introduction to data types inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now over the last few videos we have been going over some basic blueprint concepts and we have created some very basic looking uh, scripts where we play around with some lights and it's time to get things a little bit more complex, a little bit more advanced. And the way that we're going to be doing this is by using data types, stored information on our computer which we can use to help control the look, uh, sorry, the way that our blueprints behave inside of Unreal Engine 4. So these data types are known as variables and there is loads and loads of different types of them. And what I'm going to do is give you a brief introduction to each of those in today's video and then over the next few videos we'll be diving deeper into those one by one explaining exactly how you can use each of those. So moving on let's just go ahead and open up our level blueprint and we're going to take a look at some of the variables that we have available to us. So just go to blueprints and open level blueprint. Now these variables are going to be available to us as part of a blueprint class or a level blueprint. It is a common thing um, sort of built around all programming languages. On the left hand side you should have a variables tab. If you go ahead and press plus variable it is going to create you a new variable and from here you can give it a name. Now what I'm going to do is give this one the name test uh, variable and then with this, with it selected, just click on it to select it and in the details panel on the right hand side you are going to get a bit of variable information you can play around with. Now what I'm not going to do is explain every setting, that is something that you will learn for each of the different variable types as we go out through, throughout the series. Now the most important thing is your variable types. So if you go over to variable type in the top right here and just click on the drop down list. At the moment it is red because it is currently a boolean. That is the default variable type inside of Unreal Engine 4. And all of these are going to have different functions and different uses for each of these. So I'm going to quickly try and explain what some of these do. So I'm going to go over the common ones. So the first one is our boolean. That is essentially a true or false value, something that you can change using our script. So for example you have a door. If the player has the key, you'd set that to true and it'd let you in. If they don't, it'd be set to false and you wouldn't be able to go in and you can do some conditioning with that. We'll dive a little bit uh, deeper into that later on. Moving on, we've got a byte, which is an 8-bit number. Don't worry about that too much as you won't really use it too much, but we will go into it. Moving on, we have an integer. An integer is essentially a number value. So if I go ahead and compile this, with integer selected, it is going to allow me to put a number value in here. However, what you can't do is use decimal places. This is a solid whole number with the integers. So if you want something quick and easy and really efficient, and you don't need a sort of decimal value, just use an integer. Moving down, we have got a floating point number, a float. And the difference between this and an integer is that you can use decimal places. So if you want to, you could go and add sort of 65 point, you know, whatever. And it gives you a bit more control and you're going to have different uses for this within your code. Moving on down from there, you have got your name. It's essentially just a text name. So if you compile this, it is going to allow you to put in a text value. And very similar to that, you have your strings, which instead of a name is essentially just text. So if you compile this, you will have a piece of text and it's not really going to have much information other than that. And you can use this to convert sort of, you know, print this onto the, onto the screen. So let's say you have a heads up display, you have a player's name, and that name would essentially just be a string. That's what you would store as a string. Moving on, we have got text, very similar thing. We'll sort of go into the uses, uh, uses of that later on. Vector is a 3D uh, vector. So essentially with this, you are going to get three different values. 
one for your X, one for your Y, and one for your Z. So this could be sort of 3D scale, it could be RGB, it could be anything. You will sort of get to uh, get used to that as you go along with that inside of the engine later on. Moving on, you have got your rotators, which is very similar. It's just basically going to give you the 3D rotation. It's a variable which contains rotation information. And then lastly, beneath this, we have our transform information. So this is 3D transformation data, including translation, rotation, and scale. So this is gonna be a bit of a mix of both. So if I compile this, move down, and you're gonna see we have location information in there, rotation information in there, and scale information. So it's going to be a mix of uh, the rotator and you're also going to be able to add other bits of information, but you will get used to this as you go on. Now, as far as our variables are concerned, using them is really easy. So just for the sake of things, I'm going to convert this to an integer, press compile so I can change the default value, and I'm gonna set this to 15. What I'm gonna do with this is show you how to bring it into your blueprint codes. Now bear in mind, as we go through the series, we are going to be taking this usage a little bit further. So with this variable, we have two main functions. If we click and drag and drop, it is going to allow us to get or set our, valuable, our variable. So our set variable looks like this and our get variable looks like this. So there's two different things with this. If you remember in the last video, I explained to you um, sort of what an object is, an action is, an event is, the get would be the object being the variable and set would be an action, which is essentially changing the variable to something else. So if I wanted to, after I toggle the visibility of this light system that I made earlier on, what I could do is I could set test variable from the 15 value that it is at the moment to something else. And it's as simple as that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Just have a little bit of research on the different variable types. And as we go into the next few videos, you will start to understand those a little bit better and we'll start putting them into practical use once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy vertus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on patreon if you want more videos like this check out my patreon page using the link in the description to stay up to date on new releases make sure you follow us on social media